are making mistakes at all so and if the source is far away let's say 20 meter or 40 meter and basically uh, the stress waves are much worse and for that amount and then you are kind of safe to measure it but in terms of those requirements or uh, the, the maximum wavelengths that you can trust and what I'm going to talk about it in the class right after the measurement does that mean uh, CAP is uh, better in terms of natural variation? Uh, no, I mean uh, there's pros and cons and then in terms of uh, signal quality CMP, the original one is better. Yeah, but uh, as I said, if the material is variable literally, yeah. and then you are in trouble because you are covering different materials. Yeah, lateral yes, lateral variability, and it gives you problems when you use and spreading out the material. So you use CMP in that sense, uh, because material between the geophone is uh, fixed. More uniform. Uh, fixed. Yes. Right. And then also, uh, in terms of uh, the device, let's come back over here. Um, in terms of the equipment, um, as you see, I like to use battery rather than generator. Generator may be easy to handle even though it is heavier because uh, once you have a fuel and then you can use it uh, permanently but this one uh, the battery has a limit of time for use probably this one can be used eight hours or six hours a day or something like that so uh, sometimes you have to carry three batteries four batteries all the way so it's very dangerous actually and then one day I had a, a bad experience with this. I was driving and then a full of equipment stored in the back of the car. And then all of a sudden I can smell the strangest things. <laughs> so I stopped the car and what is it? And then I, when I uh, took a look at it, and then actually the, I had a big generator, uh, forward drop engine. And then that generator frame has touched plus and minus oh. four to get it. <laughs> so plus and minus no. was connected. So saturated? Yeah, and then actually the battery is, is like no, a... swell uh, up. Oh yeah, ruining down. Yeah. So it is it's kind of a whatever result. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a big danger. And also if you hold the two poles together, and you will be electrocuted. So electrocuted. Electrocuted Easily. right away. Kill faster than oh, yeah. It's really dangerous. Yes. So you have to be really, really careful in handling this. Okay? And then uh, I recommend to have a cap or a cover, yeah, to cover uh, safety this. cover yeah. all the time. And you shouldn't carry this away. So you may uh, be in trouble. Yeah, you have to be careful. But you can have a very good quality of uh, power and no electric noise, no 60 or 50 hertz noise. And it should be good in that sense. And then also another thing that you have to be careful, um, the battery, battery voltage level is not steady throughout, it is dropping. So once it is fully charged, it may be 13.1 volt, and then later at the day, maybe, maybe 9 volt or something. But the electric equipment requires most of them steady voltage like 12 volt. And then in that case, you may want to have a voltage regulator between uh, two, between the equipment and, and battery. the battery. So uh, even though the battery level is fluctuating, and then this voltage regulator should uh, give yeah, out also, yeah, yeah. always the constant total. So that's the way you want to save, uh, keep your uh, expensive data equation system uh, to be in a good condition. Okay. All right. So, is that good?